Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Myself, lecturer Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gauri, MPharm in Quality Assurance. Today we are going to deal with synthesis, experiment number 25. Title of the experiment to synthesize para-bromoacetanilide from acetanilide and find out its percent practical yield and melting point. Learning objective. After watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill that means to understand the concept of the experiment, to understand the precaution, to plan the experiment and to perform calculation. Motor skill, ability to handle equipment, take and record observation, ability to work according to plan of the experiment and ability of group working. New concept. It involves bromination. Proposition first, bromination. Bromination is the process in which reactive hydrogen atom is replaced by bromine atom. It is an electrophilic aromatic substitution mono substituted product of the primary aromatic amino cannot be easily obtained by direct addition of reagent. For example, bromination of aniline yields 246 tribromo derivative. If the amino group is protected as in acetanilide, mono substitution can be occur. Thus, in a bromination reaction with acetanilide, para bromo acetanilide is the main product. Very small quantity of ortho isomers is simultaneously forms. Hydrolysis of para bromo acetanilide gives para bromo aniline. Proposition 2 Synthesis It is a process in which new product with unique structural formula, molecular weight and melting point is produced with chemical reaction. Proposition 3 Purification Purification is the process of removing impurity from the product. Purification of the product include application of recrystallization, washing and drying the product in oven at a definite temperature for a desired period of time. This is the assembly of Bunsen funnel and flask and this assembly is used for purification of the drug. Now proposition for recrystallization. Recrystallization is the process in which compound is dissolved in selected solvent with heating and then cooled slowly to saturated solution from which pure compound is crystallized out. Proposition 5. Yield. It is a quantity of product obtained in a synthesis. They are theoretical yield, practical yield and percent practical yield. Theoretical yield. The weight of the product that one should get based upon stoichiometric quantity of the reagent. Assuming 100% completion of the reaction. Practical yield. The weight of the product actually obtained after purification of the product. Percentage yield. It can be calculated from the formula. Percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. General concept structure. Theory. Then synthesis. Then purification of crude drug by filtration and washing or by activated charcoal treatment or by recrystallization. After that we got yield and we have to perform melting point determination. Then apparatus used for the synthesis, glassware, beaker, bunsen, burner or flask and funnel, conical flask, burette, measuring cylinder. And the chemicals are acetanilide, bromine, glacial acetic acid, water, sodium sulfide and alcohol. Chemical reaction involved is Bromination. This is the acetanilide with 135 molecular weight and in when it is treated with bromine, the reactive hydrogen is replaced by bromine. It gives para bromo acetanilide. Molecular hydrogen, molecular weight is 214. Now for actual Synthesis, we move towards laboratory. Welcome, dear children, in our pharmaceutical chemistry to laboratory. Today, we are going to deal with synthesis. Today's our title is to synthesize paragonoacetyl 
metacron acetaminophen and find out its percent purity percent practical yield and its melting point now let's start with procedure first of all we have to weigh 6.7 gram of acetaminophen It's a 6.7 gram of acetaminophen. Now, in conical flask, take 22.5 ml of glycyl acetic acid. Now add this into conical flask and dissolve 6.7 grams of acetaminide into it. With continue shaking, dissolve fine powder acetaminide into glycyl acetic acid. Now keep it aside for a few minutes. Then take another conical flask and take 12.5 gram ml of glycyl acetic acid. Put this 12.5 ml of glycyl acetic acid into another conical flask and add 8.5 gram or 2.65 ml of bromine. into this second conical flask. Check it properly. Then this solution is solution containing 12.5 ml of glycyl acetic acid and 2.6 ml of bromine water. Then now place this solution into the coat. This is the cold water we have to place this solution into the cold water and fill the burette this is the burette filled by this solution that means uh, it contains 12.5 ml of glycyl acetic acid and 2.65 ml of bromine fill the solution by this burette by uh, burette by this bromine solution Then address so that there is no any air bubbles. Okay. Now after that we have to titrate this solution means which contains acetaminide in a cold condition. Add this bromine solution into the 
Conical pass containing acid and light drop wise with constant stirring in a cold condition. During addition, we have to stir it occasionally so that the reaction is completed. Add all the bromine solution into the conical flask with constant stirring. All the bromine solution is added into this water, conical plus. Now, this solution is kept aside for 30 minutes at room temperature with occasional stirring so that the reaction is completed and we get final synthesized product. After 30 minutes, this reaction mixture is poured into the beaker which contains 200 ml of water. We have to pour this reaction reaction mixture into the 400 uh, 200 ml of water. Now rinse the conical flask with another 50 ml of water, and again add this solution into the beaker which contains 200 ml of water reaction mixture and now 50 ml of water. Now we have to filter this solution into the Bunsen burner. If our solution is yellow or orange in color then we have to add sodium sulfide. But our solution here is pale yellow. It means we are about whitish. Therefore, directly we have to filter this solution through this Bunsen burner. First of all, we have to start vacuum pump. After filtration, we got the final product, which is washed with water and recrystallized by alcohol. And this is the our final product. Now this final product we have to dry it and then take its weight. For drying we have to put it inside the yellow dip and then wait for 2 hours so that our compound is uh, dried. After drying we got this parabromoacetanilide in the dry form. So that now we have to weigh this. First of all, tear the butter paper. Then add all the powder, dried powder form into this water paper and measure the weight. The weight of the para, para bromo acetanilide is 5.420 gram. After we perform the melting point of that given substance and the melting point of para acid and light is 162 degrees Celsius. Now 
after performing the practical we got observation first amount of acetanilide taken for the synthesis is 6.7 g then the practical yield of the recrystallized product is 5.42 g and melting point of the product is 162 degrees celsius calculation theoretical yield of the product as from the reaction 135 g of acetanilide gives 214 g of para bromo acetanilide that means 6.7 g of acetanilide will give 10.62 g of para bromo acetanilide practical percent practical yield formula percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 practical yield is 5.42 divided by theoretical yield 10.62 into 100 is equal to 51.03% result percentage yield of the para bromo acetanilide is 51.03% and the melting point of para bromo acetanilide is 162 degrees celsius thank you dear student for attending the practical session thank you